All right, last time we were running through the apple box and we didn't quite finish. We were looking at some of the lowriders and the Monte Carlos, some cool stuff, but the rest of this apple box contains like Christmas edition cars and then uh, sets, like kids sets. So we'll take a look at what's going on here. I have a couple interesting sets from when I was a kid. These sets are really cool because they are excavators and they come with clean dirt. Here's the shovel. You can try it. There you go, put your finger in the hole. Try the shovel. What else do I have? Here is the dump truck. These were bought at Kmart. What year were these made? 1997. Action machines with clean dirt. $2.69 for a car and some dirt. A lot of packaging there. And then here we have the wheel loader. And all these toggles could use a good dusting, but it's interesting that they come with moldable, reusable, clean dirt compound. And then you have the wheel loader. Pretty interesting. What do I got here? Class of 91, micro machines. 10 years celebrating. I don't even know when this was made. So yeah, this was made in 97. And I happened to get class of 91. That was the year my brother was born. I collected a lot of things that happened in 1991. Here's some action packs. Now, these are pretty cool and popular. I don't think these were the cheapest. They came with action figures. Here's a policeman busting a bank robber. The doors open on that armored truck back there. Police force. That was a cool set. And we have more of these action sets. Okay, so tried and true, we have the action pack construction set. Again, with the excavator. I think the reason why we bought things with the excavator in it because there was a choking hazard and these got recalled a lot, but lots of tiny little pieces in this one. This one definitely has a choking hazard for small kids, but construction set. Here we have the firefighters, don't leave them out. Two fire trucks with ladders. Again, small parts get lost. These were something that I decided to collect early on in life. Now these two are both the same and these are both the Mars rover landing. Let me see, are these dated? Some of these were dated. Here's that one, but both um, exactly the same. I thought one might be dated, but no, they're just normal. But cool sets, definitely a different time in the world in 1997. Cool though. All right, we're not done there. We got a couple more sets to go through and then we have a couple of loose random cars to get through in this. Oh, oh no, what's falling around? Oh, again, rubber bands falling apart. But this is Micro Planet by Hot Wheels. Um, what you're sliding around is just a bracket from the bottom. It's broken off. So these are probably the smallest, like the Micro Machines. Just a few of the smaller cars. I do like the smaller cars, but I didn't collect too many of them. Next thing on our list is going to be the 1997 special edition Christmas cars. And we even were able to spin the car around on this little plastic thing. As you can see, this fire truck is too big and I shouldn't even spin it because it just scratched the back of the card. Number one of four exclusive holiday vehicles. There's number one. And these I don't think were cheap. These were like $20 in 1997. So these were really special. This is what I get under the Christmas tree. And in 1996, I also got one. This is the Happy Holidays Green Porsche. Really cool. Comes with a little collector's ornament box. You can put it on your tree. Special edition 
case. Don't believe these are numbered. They may be. But I remember we had to get these at a special place too. The expensive toy store. All right, and then the next year, they changed up their cases. Here's the Scorching Scooter here with a reindeer and a leather jacket. Past, present, and future. Holiday present two of three. Seasonal scooters. I don't know what year it is. Does it say? All these adult collector's cars. Millennium edition. So this is 2000. This will be year 2000. And that's all I have for the Christmas edition. But yeah, we just have a couple other loose cars in here. Um, all right, so we'll start with this one. We have a Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels High Bus. So this is a Hot Wheels School Bus. So it's new for 2023. Next up we have this Dune It Up. Like I said, Choking Hazard. I'll probably always buy them if they say Choking Hazard on them. Because there could be a recall. Not usually if they have it already on there. Another one of my favorite, I really like the planes. I know they're not to scale of a regular Hot Wheel because there's no plane the size of a Hot Wheel, but you'd say the same about the buses. I like the planes because they have propellers, they have moving parts. And you know, as a kid you want to fly it around. But let's face it, as kids we fly our cars in the air anyways. So while we're on that same track, here's the Sky Knife. has all its propellers now. Unlike the helicopter, which has folded propellers. Next we have the mystery machine. Now, I know I have extra mystery machines. I have a lot of mystery machines. Um, this one could probably go up for sale. And then again, bumper cars. Love the bumper cars. I have one, and there's actually another one in this case. So two bumper cars, one blue and one yellow. I actually might have doubles of these, so these might also go away. Next up we have Palmer Simpson and the Simpsons family car. Pretty cool vehicle, this is screen time. Um, cut corner, let me see what this one was made. This one might be pretty new, 2015. It's hard to tell with some of these cars because they still release a lot of these cars even today. Here we have a showroom three window 34 Ford. Another one of my favorites. I have this car in this color, um, but in a different year and open. So this one's quite cool. It's got the 34 on the side. I have this car. Um, I honestly think these cars are quite ugly. The rip rod. We have cooler cars as main lines, I feel, this year. Anyways, then we have this. This is a cool car. Honda S2000 with two different colored wheels. Hot Wheels City. Paid $1.49 for this one. But definitely worth it. Here's a Monster Dairy Delivery van. Lots of neon colors and bright colors. Another movie car from Guardians of the Galaxy 2. The Milano. Lots of detail and has a stand uh, similar to the Star Trek cars. I think the last for this one is gonna be this Volkswagen Racer. Pretty cool, looks like a racer. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time.